And welcome back to Let's Fly VFR. Today I wanted to take you on a quick trip and save you possibly quite a lot of space on your, your SSD. Now, all of us X-Plane people who like to use the ortho um, fill up our SSDs real quick, don't we? And this is a tip that came from uh, the site David Reed, who's the administrator on um, let uh, X Plane for Beginners and Beyond. Really great little site. So if you if you're new to X Plane and you're looking for a Facebook page with uh, a lot of really good help and nice people, um, feel free to go visit over there. Really good. So this is uh, an idea I actually stole from there. This wasn't my idea, although I had thought about it. I didn't know whether it was possible. So let's have a look. So welcome to Let's Fly VFR. All in X Plane 11. Props, jets, and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave your comment. Look forward to hearing from you. If you we go into, and I've already done this, I'm going to show you what the end result is. So on my C drive, we go into X Plane 11, and we go into Custom Scenery. And you'll see down here all the scenery files that I have. Now, these, as you can see, are shortcuts. And the reason I've done that is, is because X-Plane doesn't care where the ortho scenery is as long as you tell it where, where it is. So what I did is I saved about 50, 60 gigabyte here. And I went over to my hard drive, created a um, an ortho libraries one and here's all now I also discovered something else now I know if you guys have been having a few issues with um, the ortho for XP creation uh, of files and not being able to find them and and to date I haven't have haven't had that problem until yesterday yesterday I wanted to make a couple of tiles over in the Caribbean and they disappeared they didn't come up I'd come up with an error message um, file could not be sniffed and stuff which is one I know one of the guys I was chatting to actually had but um, what I did do is I went over to my drive where I have my ortho for XP installed opened it up and look, I did know they had tiles yeah but here's all the ones that I've made sitting here so if you have uh, have made a lot of tiles and they're not showing up in your custom scenery folder as they normally should and now only a few days ago I made a few tiles and they ended up exactly where they're supposed to have been but I'm not real sure what the issue is maybe it's a Windows 10 thing because in the past it works flawlessly but anyway so I've made all these tiles as well and these don't appear in my directories so um, I've already copied these over here to my ortho for XP ortho files now I'm just going to pick one at random um, this one here okay I've got an inkling I haven't done this one yet so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it we're going to create a shortcut there we go we've got a shortcut so all we do now is we grab that we control well I'm going to cut it go over here go to your X plane go to your custom scenery and right click and paste it in there now when I go to that region I will have ortho scenery and the difference is as I say now what I have uh, oh, I was down to about 30 now I'm up to about 87 gigabyte of space on my SSD and this drive will be substantially less after I found all those other tiles but free space I've still got more than half a gig so and if I check how many ortho tiles I have made in here there's 173 gigabyte of ortho files guys so that will save you some space if you have a spare bit of place on your hard drive so that's all I wanted to share with you Thanks for watching. 
nice short video for you today and uh, hey if you're new here please feel free to subscribe lots of really great videos on the channel for you and if you're returning then welcome back and thanks for your support and as uh, as it is here in july of 218 we've just cracked 100 subscribers which seems really small but um, it's a start isn't it and to grab that uh, three figures finally after about nine months is really great so uh, feel free to share the word for me and uh, if you'll have any friends that really love explain point them towards my channel that'd be really fantastic so until next time i will catch you again here on let's fly vfr catch you soon bye bye Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.